Okay, so it's been raining all day. Been basically laying around. Well, I've ran errands this morning, but I'm just going to go ahead and work on the composting toilet because um, it, I, I really need to do that. So the idea is there's a funnel here. I'm going to actually make a slit here so this handle kind of comes out here. And, um, and then I'm going to screw it fit. I mean, uh, fast <laughs> fit, fast to uh, the bucket so that I can separate the urine from the uh, fecal matter, which is what makes it stink to high heaven. Uh, so, that bad. Um, I hope you can see here. I'm manning everything. Here we go. I think I need to make it wider. another funnel that was a lot bigger in general however that funnel took up most of the surface area well just of the area so if I went number two or when I went number two it would not have worked well at all okay so my idea here is I'm probably gonna get a tiny screw and screw that fast there and then that'll be it. So the concept is that the urine will go in here. I will be taking a piece of this pipe and I am going to put it right here and then the other end will go into a jug for now. Eventually I want to be able to probably make a French drain so it goes down. Um, but urine is, um, is uh, what do you call that? The word that's coming to my mind is neutral, and I know that's not what it is, but urine is, and I'm sure many of you are screaming the word at the screen, but right now I can't think of the word. Um, so I could pour it anywhere, and it would not harm the environment. Um, and then what I'll be using inside the bucket is these 100% compostable. Um, it says tall kitchen bags but um, the idea is whether I decide to use it for humanure or if I just use it you know bury it it's made from plants so um, the Europeans approve it and you know they're uh, way farther ahead than we are <laughs> when it comes to um, things and then this is my toilet seat which clicks right into this little Home Depot bucket like that and it has a lid which came off I have to put it back on and that is the idea so I will now get the screw to go ahead and screw that on there okay so I already went ahead and screwed that in there uh, if, hopefully you can see this yeah all right, so this is just a regular like gallon jug. It is way too big, because if you think about it, when I put the bag in here to go number two, there'll be a, there won't be a whole lot of space. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna use this. Tomorrow when I run out again, um, I'll probably run out and uh, run some more errands. Um, I will probably, I will find something that is um, smaller so that there's more space in the bag. Um, but anyway, for now that'll do. Um, when I set it up, I'll show you. When I set it up, it really, like, it's right there. But I'm going to cut a small piece of the tubing, of this tubing anyway, 
so that to make sure that it just goes um, straight straight in um, and not have a problem and that'll just be rinsed out with a little bit of water and vinegar and uh, that should take care of that the problem uh, with um, when you go to like a porta potty or something and it smells to high heaven it's because the urine and the poop mix and that mixture is uh, well you know horrific so when you separate it um, poop tends to dry pretty quick if it doesn't have any humidity and I will be using I went to our local little agro store and all they had was this oh let me get up this is water filtered from my Berkey um, so they had this stuff um, so it's supposed to be 100% natural it's made out of pine chips it's supposed to control odor and um, and it's uh, also biodegradable so that works well um, so I'm gonna cut tubing and put that in and then um, yeah we'll see what's next okay so I cut this piece here it's about I don't know one two two and a half inches three inches and so when I put the gallon jug in <laughs> this may be a problem let's see when I put the gallon jug in <laughs> take one <laughs> okay here's take two I, there's, I can't do things with one hand so it'll just go in like this and, um, and then I'll show you and so it will go directly in no problem um, it may actually not end up being a problem that I would have to uh, um, get a smaller jug but we shall see uh, now I have to put the bag in and uh, I'll need both hands for that so let me see if I can get that at a good angle um, wow the texture of this bag is really smooth where is the cutoff of the bag it's a 13 gallon bag so it would fit in a much bigger trash can like a trash can so okay all right so I'll show you what I did here um, obviously it can't go all the way around because of the homemade urine separator here um, but when I put the lid on there we go it'll pinch so ideally when I sit urine will go down here number two will go back here and then I will put this lid back on which I need two hands for so let me set you down um, I'm going to see how this works with actually without it actually having a vent um, because ideally if it's vented there should be no smell at all um, today I was using the bucket with just a bag and the urine and everything was going in um, all together and let me tell you something that odor was not pleasant okay there we go um, is coming out I don't know why Ugh. there I don't know so it actually clips on I have to lift here and um, and that is it so this is the idea the seat is very comfortable uh, so I'm very happy about that and so here it is, composting toilet, separating and all. <laughs> Can't believe I'm going to do this. <laughs> yep, so it should go straight in there. I hope you guys can see that. Um, it's a great crop. <laughs> crop shot. <laughs> yes, I'm insane. 
but it is what it is. Um, and that is it. So I have my own little potty. You know, I after I finished the previous clip, I forgot to tell you. So what will happen is I will use some of this, pour it on the bottom first, and then every time I go, the concept is that I put some more on top. And that will help absorb any um, uh, humidity that will be in there and to keep odors low and, um, or not any, hopefully. And um, it will keep the poop covered too because if anybody comes to visit me, which, you know, if you know Puerto Ricans, we do a lot in groups. And uh, family will probably be coming and friends and whatnot. And this is the only bathroom available. So, uh I just wanted to make sure that you knew how I was going to keep things there covered and hopefully very low to no odor.